Okay, so I showed you on the previous slide, this would be our data set, and we want to actually put this data set into SPSS. Now, you cannot put it in exactly how it is like this, so you would think, okay, well, I've got hard to get, and I've got normal, and I've got these columns, so you have to arrange your data um, in SPSS so that it matches what's going on. So I'm going to show you here in a little bit how to do that. So if I go to SPSS, I'm going to move this up here. Okay, so notice I've got my strategy, and what does ones and zeros represent? All right, so if I select that item, it tells me, okay, so these are hard to get, and these are normal. And then I've got attractive high, which implies this is attractive high charismatic, average high charismatic, and unattractive high charismatic. Attractive sum, average sum, and unattractive sum. So if I go back to my uh, file here, okay, so just so I can show you that these match, if I've got this person here who's an 86, they're associated with hard to get and they 86 represents high charismatic. All right, so my 84 is average, high charismatic, and hard to get. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense when you see how that data um, are set up. So if you wanted to know what your variables are, again, you would select your variable view tab on the bottom, and this gives me some indication here. All right, so this is a good example of when you're setting your data up and labeling it. And then here is my normal and hard to get values. Okay, so that's how you would set the data up for this. So you'd have to think about, this is why I ask you guys, what is your dependent variable? So this is the rating, all right? And then here's my independent variables. And you'd have to set your independent variables up just like this.